Hello, I'm Julian Velasquez with Customer Support. In this video, we'll briefly discuss RVSM height monitoring. Through bilateral agreements with Canada and Mexico, the FAA established NARMO, the North American Approvals Registry and Monitoring Organization, as the official regional monitoring agency supporting implementation and continued safe use of North American RVSM. One of the functions of NARMO is to monitor aircraft tidekeeping performance. Monitoring aircraft tidekeeping performance consists of collection of necessary data using specialized systems, estimation of relevant performance parameters, and comparison of these parameter estimates to corresponding RVSM requirements on both an individual aircraft and a system-wide basis. All aircraft operators wishing to conduct operations in RVSM-designated airspace are required to participate in RVSM monitoring. Operators are required to conduct initial monitoring within six months of issuance of operational approval or no later than the start of North American RVSM operations, whichever occurs later. And monitoring must be conducted every two years or with intervals of 1,000 flight hours per aircraft, again, whichever occurs later. There are two systems used to collect this type of information, the Aircraft Geometric Height Measurement Element, or AGME system, and GPS-based monitoring unit flights, or GMU flights. NARMO developed the AGME system to monitor all aircraft passing through its coverage volume with the primary aim of supporting estimation of height keeping performance parameters for the bulk of operations in North American RVSM airspace. The AGME system does not require that any special monitoring devices be installed on an aircraft in order for performance to be monitored, but it is necessary that the aircraft have an operational mode as transponder. An operator wishing to use an AGME constellation to satisfy monitoring requirements should follow AGME monitoring procedures and submit an AGME monitoring application if they haven't already done so. Monitoring data is processed between four to six weeks. The monitoring application, procedures, AGME locations, monitoring results, and more can be found through the FAA's website. GMU flights offer an alternative method to flying over an AGME constellation. The GPS unit can be set up in the aircraft for one flight during which the unit collects GPS pseudo ranges. Post-flight processing of the data ensures estimates of aircraft geometric height, which are of sufficient accuracy to permit estimation of relevant height-keeping performance parameters. This processing also takes between four to six weeks. For more information on NARMO or RVSM height monitoring methods, follow the link below to the FAA's website. For information on GMU flights or RVSM document packages, please contact us at rvsm at txtav.com. From everyone at Textron Aviation, safe travels.